because it pulled up the Facebook. All right, guys, we are live. It's episode 275 of the Shooter's Mindset. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Co-host joining me, Greg Cannon. What's going on? Hey, everyone. Jennifer Seymour is in the house. Hey, everybody. And we're here with guest star, the hour right, president of Hunter's HD Gold, and that's Brian Conley. What's going on, Brian? Hey, what's going on? Thanks for having me tonight. It, it's good to have you on, man. We've been talking a lot about your product lately, so we figured we'll we'll get you on the show and you you tell us more about it, right? Yeah, oh, please. That's that's awesome. I'm just really glad to be here and um, taking the time out to listen to your show before and when you just getting more involved in the shooting sports and this is just another chapter in that um, path I'm taking right now. So once again, thank you again for having me on. Boom. Yeah. We're going to get a lot more details, man. If you got any questions for, for Brian, anything, anything optics related, eyewear related, anything um, maybe you're looking, maybe you're weaning into that prescription. Maybe you're in your forties or something. Eyes are starting to change. Maybe you're younger than that. Who knows? This is a good show to get some, some of those questions in. Uh, show sponsors the folks over at gsltechnologies.com. If you're in the want to get a hunting suppressor, competition suppressor, anything, pistol suppressor, they got it all over there at gsltechnologies.com. Take a look at them. Uh, we've got the website, the shooters mindset.com. You can keep up to date with your, the latest of the shooters mindset shows, blogs, and kind of more about me, Greg, and Jen over there. Uh, like I said, if you're watching on the live stream over on the Shooter's Mindset Facebook page, you can just plug your questions in for Brian on that live feed. We'll pull them. We'll get them out live throughout the show. All right, Brian, for those who are unfamiliar with you, tell us a little bit more about yourself and kind of why, what got you into starting the company or how did it get started? Well, everything um, got started as far as when about October um, 2011, um, that I didn't even own a gun until October, 2011. And that's when, um, my wife's, um, father passed away and I inherited some guns from him and started, you know, just, I think it was six or seven guns that I started off with. And then after that, um, about a couple of years later, me and a couple of buddies wanted to go in and buy some property uh, and, and just have a place to go shoot guns and just have a place to hang out and stuff like that. And, um, we started a place called um, Triple Forks Hunting. So that's started a big project where, you know, I like to be outdoors, like to be, you know, in the situation where I had a place to go shoot the gun and everything. But um, what really got going from there is, uh, um, so I guess the second year, th second or third year we was into that, I was um, having a lake built and a gentleman out there moving dirt was um, telling me about, you know, different things and how to get some wasp spray and everything else from, from Pelham. And then went in there and, you know, that's, you know, kind of got hooked up with the um, shooting sports at that point, but um, not really shooting sports, but I got involved with a gentleman by the name of Larry Joe Steely at Steel Target Paint. And he, um, you know, the place wasn't open to the public, went in there and um, went to, you know, try to buy this wasp spray that they had there that the guy on the bulldozer told me about. And they're, you know, it's, I left my card and next thing I know, you know, Larry Joe Steely calls me about having a hunting property. And then he actually, you know, wanted to book a hunt with him and his employees and came out there and kind of met Larry Joe that way. But to, to, you know, to back up a little bit more when I had the hunting property, you know, I wanted to have a, you know, I was out there shooting, I was doing some, you know, long range stuff and some of the fields we have go out 265 yards and some of the other fields we have is like 350 yard stretch. And um, I was having a problem, you know, seeing my targets at that distance without any um, aid of optics and everything else. And went back talking to Sherry, my wife, and I said, I need to, um, you know, figure out how to create a lens to help, you know, what I'm wanting to do with hunting and everything. And she goes, well, there was a, a lens that was out there a long time ago that was in the optical industry, but it didn't, it didn't make it. And, um, but you know, the doctors never sold it or anything else. And so I researched that technology and found out who was the um, owner of that technology. And that lens was something that was discontinued. Then I got involved with an, uh, another lady in the optical industry. And she said, well, you know, that's, that lens has been dead for a long time, but it's something that we can, um, you know, we can give you the formula 
and you can, you know, make it yourself and kind of see what happens from there. And she gave us a formula. We tweaked it a little bit. It had a little bit, you know, different colors in it, this and that. We changed it up a little bit and added some other dyes and stuff that were um, exclusive to the um, medical industry. And um, to put some dyes in there and that got the lens to where it is today being Hunter's HD Gold. And when I was looking for a lens, when I first got started, I wanted a lens that was for hunting that would give me 30 minutes more hunting in the morning, 30 minutes more hunting in the evening. Cause in the state of Alabama, hunting hours are defined 30 minutes before sunrise and 30 minutes after sunset. And with um, that, when the time change that's getting ready to happen here again next week, that can be very dark. And um, with Hunter's HD Gold, the lenses we put together, you know, I could actually hunt during that time. And it also made it where I could see antlers out to 200 to 350 yards without needing the aid of a binoculars and being able to recognize the white ivory look of an antler at that distance. And we did some testing with that with some antlers that we'd found on the ground, and everything else. And, you know, what it made in the hunting industry, it made it where I had faster acquisition on the target. For an example, you know, you're shooting power lines or something like that. That's only a, you know, 30 or 40 yard width. You want to be in a situation where, well, you go, okay, do I see something? Okay. You pull up binoculars, then you go to your gun. Now with Hunter's HD Gold, it allowed us to go, oh yeah, I see antlers. I'm going straight to the gun. So it was faster to acquire mm -hmm. your target and your game having that brand. And to get back to the story where I met Larry Joe Steedley, he came out to the cabin, booked a hunt, and he saw some lenses that I had there. And you should have saw the, the frames, what they look like back then. You think they're, you think they're questionable now. They were really <laughs> bad when we first got started. Yeah. But um, so basically went, you know, Larry came out there and then he got me, he asked me, you ever done any competitive shooting before? And I said, I don't even know what that is. And he says, well, I shoot cowboy shooting, you know, with sass. And I was like, okay, you know, gave me another reason to go buy some other guns. And I joined SAS. My alias is Lightbender. And um, cause I've been light for a living. So that was my cowboy name and um, did that for about six or seven months. And at this time, Larry was, you know, seeing a need for um, steel target paint because it wasn't created yet. And his office is about a mile down from mine. It's still target paint. And I was, you know, making some Hunter's HD Gold lenses for people locally. And it was kind of coming a, you know, local hit with people like this is, you've got something here. So Larry had talked about, you know, doing that. And I was talking about this. It didn't even have a name Hunter's HD Gold yet at that point. So it's one of those things that was still like, okay, I guess I need to do something. So uh, about, you know, went on about three months. We didn't hear anything that he called me up about three months later and said, um, I'm getting ready to, to sponsor a team. I was like, what do you mean put together a team? He goes, I'm thinking about the steel target paint shooting team. I've met this guy named Steve Foster out of Georgia. He's going to be the captain of the team. I said, well, what the heck does that look like? What, what do we, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just in total confusion. Cause I didn't know this. I didn't know the shooting sports even existed at that level. And um, he says, well, we'll just put your, we'll put your logo on the jerseys and you'll just sponsor the, the team I'm putting together. We'll put them, we'll put some glasses in their hands and start getting the brand out there. And um, I was like, okay, it's pretty interesting. So I went back to Sherry um, and I said, Hey, I'm getting ready to get in the shooting industry a little bit. And she was concerned because her mother started this company back in 1977. Cause all we do on a daily basis is make lenses for ophthalmologists, not optometrists. And she goes, where's our liability being the business owner that she is. And I said, well, um, I don't know. I'll get back with you. <laughs> so I got back with her and about two days later, I said, um, we're going to do everything with um, OSHA approved, you know, safety frames and all the lenses are going to be ANSI standard 2015. And um, cause most of your lenses out there now that you can buy off the shelf are all either 2003 or 2010. I wanted to go all the way to 2015 for the newest ANSI standards that were out there. And um, she said, get me the certificate and we'll, be, we'll go from there, get them approved. So after about another six months, um, I got my certificate in back from a third party who did all the ANSI testing on the lenses and passed after all the research and development and got it passed. And 
here we are today and started sponsoring the Steel Target paint shooting team with Steve Foster. And he became the um, one of the founding, you know, recognizing partners of Hunters HD Go to help, and help make it what it is today. It just kind of started off as a cult following. And then he hooked me up with Trent Mitsuuka, my other friend on the West Coast that shoots Steel Challenge. And it started off on each side of the coast. And here we are in the middle and everything's just kind of going um, full blown at this point. So that's kind of a short story or, you know, there's a lot more of that story, but trying to break it down just for time restrictions, and everything else of how Hunter's HD Go got started. Boom. Yeah, I mean, that's a, pre you said two to 300 yards. What I got out of that is two to 300 yards. You can see antlers with Hunter's HD Gold. So we're skipping a whole step. That's pretty impressive. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's one of those things that um, finding sheds on the ground at the camp and everything else, we were putting stuff up and being able to identify and hardwoods. Another thing about the lenses and, um, you know, turkey feathers actually have an iridescent color to them on their tail feathers. And these actually make tur turkey feathers glow in hardwoods a little bit. And I was concerned about that because um, we didn't know if that was going to be an unfair advantage in the hunting industry. And we tested them out with game wardens and game wardens in Alabama out um, west still use them today for obvious reasons because it's allowed to be able to see, um, you know, they're, they're able to see what they do in their job to be able to see shadows when there's no light at all early in the morning, late in the evening. So game wardens um, said, gave me a go. They were good to go. And um, they, like I said, they still use them today. And we got a lot of live here that's coming in. Greg, you want to pull one? Jen, we can get one. Whoever's got one, you want to line up. Jen, what do you got? Because I know he's on mute. <laughs> oh, he's on mute. Okay. Well, Dave oh. says, hey. Hey, Dave. Haven't seen you in forever. Um, Jeremy Beaver says, what's oh, up? Nice. Big dog Beave. <laughs> I like Jeremy. David Wilson says, why don't they publish VLT slash visual light transmission levels for their ah, Great question. Great question. Um, the photo co the photochromic companies that we use do not publish that information. We have found out through some studies that I've done that the visual light trans stuff is a independent study that has been done by the other manufacturers is kind of almost a buzzword. There's no, um, you know, this brand may have this percentage, this brand may have this percentage, but there's no, there's no consistent brand across the board, but the photochrom photochromic companies that we use do not publish that information. So that's why I don't have that actual number to give people. So great question. Because I don't know. <laughs> there we go. And, and Steve Foster says hi. Ah. Brian Bowler says he was fortunate enough to use a demo pair at the 2019 IDPA Worlds and that they are great. Uh, thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. We have a, when I travel around, I do demo days everywhere I go. That way I can um, let people try them before they buy them. Because when you bring something new to the market, we can have a lot of people. And I've got a lot of great people that I've met that talk about the brand. But until you can actually put it on yourself and try it, just like you did, Stephanie and Greg and, um, and Anthony, you just don't really know what it's like until you can put them on yourself and see the difference. Yeah. Yeah, agreed, man. We got uh, Mike Foley's in the house on my, my end watching this, president of USB. Uh, USPSA is in there saying just hello to everybody. Nice. Um, what else we got? You guys got the AG Cup, Jen, Greg. The AG Cup's going on right now. What's the story with that match and what, what's going on with it? Man, so that's the the craziest match in precision rifle history. Um, you know, uh, for those of you that know Tom from Armageddon Gear, sometimes he'll drink a little bit of beer and get some crazy ideas. Um, so the whole point behind this match is it's an invitation only of the top 20 shooters in PRS. Um, people that have placed the top of everything. And this match, it has a $40,000 worth of cash giving away. So the winner takes home 20 K and the winner of each of the 20 stages takes home a thousand dollars. So there's 40 all sorts $40,000 at stake. Um, so they're, they're out there today and, you know, they have uh, shooting USA is out there, you know, doing their professional media coverage. But although they do amazing work, I'm really impatient, wanted to see stuff like now. Mm -hmm. So I know uh, like Swanee from last week was uh, 
out there and he probably has about an hour of live stream of the match that was really awesome to watch i think he has more than that he ha- he took a lot of them there was one video that uh kind of has the buzz going where they were shooting a texas star at 300 yards and it was timed so best time whoever can clean it the fastest time was going to win and it was not a uh, one of the official stages it's a side stage um and i think the winner was going to get 500 dollars. so they were playing around doing that it was pretty impressive yeah man that, i remember the announcement to that to that match i didn't realize it until you said that the money was involved in tom from armageddon, armageddon gear but that was a huge announcement you know in shooting sports kind of in general you never see those type of prizes and and that type of you know, invitation. Well, you see the invitation only stuff, but the prize, that prize money kind of piques some interest for some folks. Yeah. And they've got, they've got all sorts of sponsors behind them. You know, the, uh, um, the precision rifle series actually sponsored this match. Um, and the rumor is even before they had it is that it's going to be, uh, an ongoing thing to get, uh, more in it. you know, they're trying to get it on TV. You know, it's going on TV, so they're kind of using it as a thing to kind of try and involve more people and kind of show people where they could end up. There we go. Yeah, Hunter's HD Gold is a huge uh, supporter of the shooting sports. I mean, uh, when we were just talking to set this show up, you were like, oh, I'm over here at Nationals. I'm over here at this match. Also, I can do it this day. It was like, you know what I mean? You're all over the place, which is fun. But why do you decide to support the, uh, the sport so heavily? I mean, I'm hearing IDPA World. I'm hearing USPSA Nationals. I'm hearing Steel Challenge. Um, well, it sounds like we need to be hearing Precision <laughs> Rifle Series next. So I'm, I'm taking yeah. notes. So like, I got to get involved. Um, and that's the biggest thing I want to do. I want to be. I want to get involved. Um, the shooting sports. When I first got started, it was all. Um, it was all Steel Challenge. And what I what what I fell in love, and I'm still in love with about the Steel Challenge side of it is the youth that are involved. And being what got us started buying property, what got us started me collecting guns was wanting to protect our second amendment rights. And with the kids that are in the sports today and starting off in steel challenge and in rimfire challenge is just amazing. And if we have, you know, growing that sport and they're the feeder, you know, the US, you know, steel challenge is a feeder for the USPSA and it's just, it's, it's allowing more people to get involved in the sports. And then um, when I, you know, Mike being on the, on the, on the Washington himself, but, you know, talking to Mike at nine days of nationals last year was um, really what got everything started with like, Hey, there's really something going on here. And um, so far, you know, this year I've um, sponsored 124 matches. I've attended, um, 35 matches and I still have six more to go this year. So the reason I do that is because the more people I'm around, the more relationships I get to build, the more I learn about all the different shooting disciplines and listening to shooters like yourself, that is what's helping me take the brand of where it is now into where it's going to go next. Because if not everybody can use the Hunter's HD gold color in you know say precision rifle series or in olympic shooting then where do i go next and listening to people that you know are are doing both of those disciplines that's what's that's why i want to be here i want to be involved i want to help the sport grow because in return you know with all the stuff i've been supporting with um so many different organizations that i've come to know and love you know it's just all it's doing is building a foundation for the future of the sport in the future of our second amendment. And if we don't have, you know, you can't have one without the other, in my opinion. Yeah. Agreed. I mean, it's, it, it's funny how, you know, now anybody with a yellow tint, I'm saying those are Hunter HD goals <laughs> and they're, pro- they, they're possibly not, they could be these $10 ones, you know, you get the $10 eyewear and they're just yellow tinted all around. Well, you'll find out when the sun comes out. Yeah. Yeah. But now <laughs> it's like anybody with a yellow tinted lens. I was like, well, the boys rocking a Hunter's HD gold. So. Uh, it's funny how I kind of, you know, I, I heard of it, heard of it. I went to the website. I was like, nah, you know, I, I was partial. I, not that I was sponsored by any eyewear company. I wasn't, but I was just partial to the Oakley's, right? I just, right. I, I, I liked them. I had no need to change. 
but then we had uh, Patrick Kelly, who I saw recently at the range. We had Keita on here, and these guys are like, man, you just got to try a pair. You got to yeah. look through them, and it'll change your mind. So here we got, here we are. We got a good announcement coming up here for the folks that are watching. Greg, you want to walk us through a little giveaway here? Yeah, so in about four minutes on the Shooter's Mindset page, a post is going to go up at 930. Um, and what you have to do is you have to like that post. Obviously, make sure you uh, like the Shooter's Mindset. Share that post and make sure that you like Hunter's HD Gold on Facebook. And you will be entered into a drawing to win, uh, from the sounds of it, pretty much any pair of glasses you want from Hunter's HD Gold. That's correct. Your choice. And in the, if the winner needs a prescription, we're going to make your prescription for free as well. So whatever, you know, we don't want to exclude anybody. Does that even include like the older folks that wear like the bifocals and stuff? It, it does. It will include single vision, bifocals, trifocals, progressives, whatever we need to make, whatever they're used to shooting with. They would, that's what it will include. That is awesome. Yeah, we're going to uh, announce, we'll announce the winner on next week's episode of the shooter's mindset live we'll do the drawing and you'll get a contact with uh, brian and get yourself uh, a pair of eyewear there they'll even get one of the special yellow boxes that we only give away at shows that we go to that everybody wants as well so you get a, they're going to get a yellow one of the yellow um boxes to go with that people who've seen me at a show know exactly what that is i didn't get a yellow box nope Ooh. No, although I did get it, I do have a very nice carrying case that goes right on the inside of my back. Yeah, you're not yeah. special. Yeah, but Mama always said I was. Yeah, yeah. Right after ma she ma me. Ma Mama said, ma yeah. Bop, 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 bop. yeah. As yeah, she yeah. put you on the short bus. Oh, yeah. oh, I was. I'm too uh, tall to fit on a short bus. All right, uh, let's get into discounts. Uh, what do we got, Jen, from you? Because we usually. Last episode, we, we totally forgot this segment of the show until the very end, so might as well hit it now. So you can get 10% off of uh, jerseys from Under Industries or um, sweatshirts. They have the hoodies. They have jackets. They have all kinds of things, the um, sleeves, whatever you could imagine they have there. So you can get 10% off if you've mentioned TSM10 and just um, Facebook message the Under Industries page and mention the shooter's mindset and you'll get 10 percent off you can also get 10 percent off of uh carbon arms.us on shotgun shell caddies uh ratchet belts extension tubes for shotguns all that good stuff um and you can get 10 percent off using tsm 10 on that oh greg what do you got i have you can save 10 percent off at overwatch defense with the code canon 10 um, shoot them an email, give them a call, and you get yourself an awesome Cerakote job. Also, the go. code MINDSET10 in all caps. It'll save you 10% off of all phone scope products. Um, you can get them for your spotting scope, your binos, um, pretty much any rifle scope you can think of. There we go. A couple on my end, and we got some from Brian here. Uh, Terran Tactical Innovations, TerranTacticalInnovations.com. TSM10 saves you... 10% off all the parts and everything for Benelli's, his, his Glock pistols, his 2011s, all that stuff over there. UMTactical.com, TSM10, 10% off. A lot of holsters and AR gear over there. And Brian, what do you got for discounts? Um, I got two, two good companies I've been working with on their, on their shooting teams. Um, one is a steel target paint discount and the other one's targets USA discount. And the discount code is the actual exact same for both of them. It's HD gold. 10 so that will save you 10 percent off now through veterans day on both of those sites and if you mention the shooter's mindset on any orders between now and veterans day you'll get free shipping on your rx orders as well and this is 25 dollars value there there awesome. we go there yeah we got to remember that discount code so we can get it posted up on uh, outside the show uh, tons of live come in. Want to hit some of those before it gets kind of wild. We appreciate all the live stuff. Really helps the show flow. What do we got? Let's see. We'll start from the bottom. Um, Kelly Perez wants to know if you'll be at the Florida State match. Yes, I am going to um, Okeechobee Gun, Pl Gun Club. Okay, Gun Corral. I will be there. Awesome. Right. When is that? I was supposed to sign up for that. Oh, uh, <laughs> I think the very first weekend in December, I believe. Okay. Maybe there's some spots. If not, it's the first, second, or third. I'm going to be in Florida for three weeks straight. <laughs> okay. There we go. Any more? 
Yep, we got uh, Dustin Pluse said he heard that Hunter's HD Gold will be getting some awesome Under Industries gear. Thanks for being a sponsor and having a booth at the IDPA PCC Nationals and World Championship. Yeah, you're very welcome. Yeah, I met Under Industries and we're ordering a lot of stuff in them for the 2020 season. I'm, I'm, I'm very glad they were there myself and you're very welcome. Yeah, they make awesome stuff. Super awesome. Um, let's see. Jeremy Beaver said Anthony Cruz is awesome. Hey. Mm -hmm. A little compliment here and there, eh? <laughs> no love for the rest of us. Yeah. I'm hurt. He's wearing he's wearing the same glasses you are, Anthony. So a little love there. Yeah. <laughs> Once we have some good taste. Let's see. Let's see. Steve Wright said, "Thank you for supporting the sport." You're very welcome, Steve. Uh, Rob Chambly said, "Keep up the great work." Will do. John Shooting said, "Hey, Brian." Wanisa and I said hello and thank you. Uh, this is for Wanisa. There you go. <laughs> uh, Kelly said, what's the travel mileage so far? Oh, great question. We're at 98,678. I wrote that down. And the reason that's so important <laughs> is um, on December the 5th, I'll have two more matches after that. So I didn't, I'm, I'm going to keep to my part of the rules. But on December the 5th, we're at five o'clock. Um, Central Time, wherever my mileage is at, we had a contest that started back in January, and guesses had to be in by March the 31st. But the closest without going over and um, guessing my mileage, Price is Right rules, will win a prize pack that is valued at a lot of um, stuff. We're giving away a Scorpion um, for courts, and pretty much whoever wins is going to have enough to have their own prize table for a, for a match. It's a lot of stuff. One, one, one winner wins it all. Wow. wow i wish i got in on that yeah. <laughs> right well uh, there's there's gonna be one for 2020 again so this is just get ready for that probably be announced sometime around january the 15th note to self go like hunters hd gold on facebook to see more of these awesome giveaways yeah, there you go uh all right i think we're good with the live keep those coming brian can you explain some of the science between the different lens styles for shooting and why someone would choose one over the other and this is well, kind of we, we talked a little bit about this in the pre-show because I was on this red, red kind of had to be like a dark red tint on my glasses after training with Morgan Allen, but this was years ago. Um, you know what, you know, there's fishing, there's baseball, there, everything has a different color lens. What, what's the science behind it? Well, the base that we start off with is Trivex. Okay. Trivex is lighter and stronger than plastic or polycarbonate that everybody has heard of. Trivex was created in 2001 by PPG Industries, and it was designed as a visual, as a visual armor in the cockpit of fighter jets. Okay. The reason being is it's lighter and stronger, just like I said, but Trivex, here's the difference. It allows 43% more light to pass through the lens than polycarbonate does. Okay, a lot better optics. Now with that, being on the safety side that we're in in the industry, I had to protect your eyes having that much more light come in. So with the photochromic technology that we used, that protected a lot of the UV when the sun came out. But the dye that we use when you're indoors, like we're all like seeing right now indoors, is actually a medical dye. Um, a dye that you can buy in the optical industry about this tall and about that big can average anywhere about, you know, six bucks a bottle to dye lenses. The same size bottle that we have can run anywhere from 38 to $48 a bottle for, you know, raw cost. So the medical dye we use does three things. One, it's used to treat depression up in North, North America where there's not a lot of sunlight year round. So it's kind of a, um, a happy lens. And the next thing is, is it blocks 100% of blue light from your eyes as well. And the next biggest thing is it, it blocks melatonin from being created in your eyes so you won't get tired um, as easy. So you can actually wear this lens at night when you're driving. There's a lot of things that um, it does that actually give you medical benefits because it is actually a medical device. And while that's important is we can't take insurance directly through Hunter's HD Gold because you have to be owned by a doctor to take insurance. And my wife's not a doctor as much as she thinks she is. Sometimes she's not. But all kidding aside, you with a medical device, you can actually use your HSA account or your flex spending account, or you can file add on network with your insurance company. So um, there's a lot of benefits to this. And also with the, um, the AR coding that we use, 
it's a light that blocks 100% UVA, UVB, and blue light. So it is, you know, you will not have any eye fatigue wearing these from early morning, mid afternoon, late in the evening, and driving home. You'll have the same light visible all day long, the same consistent light. That's awesome. I was actually, um, we went out shooting Sunday night or Sunday evening and I never swapped back to my regular glasses driving home. I'm like, oh, it's so bright out. And I took them off when I got home. I was like, oh, it's, it's dark outside. <laughs> <laughs> nice. They're really nice. I'm seeing They really do one. just brighten everything up. Yeah. And they, they increase the contrast a lot, which is the biggest thing. Um, yeah. you know, before I got into competitive shooting, um, from the time I was eight until I was 25, I was huge into paintball. I was working in the, in the industry. I was competing the whole nine yards. And, you know, we'd carry around for our masks, just a big like folder of different lenses to change it out. And, you know, you'd have the yellow lenses you'd have, you know, I had like a gradient tint yellow lens. I had a regular yellow lens. So I've had experience with them before, but this is by far the clearest I've seen out of one. Well, I appreciate you saying that. And our, slogan that my wife actually came up with after I went to a couple of shows trying to think of a slogan for Hunter's HD Gold is they change so you don't have to. So, you know, it's one of those things you can, you know, wear the same lens all day long and you do not have to change lenses to have the best visual acuity and sight acquisition on your target. Yeah, there you go. To feed off of that, if you ever, if you ever shoot at Universal Shooting Academy in Florida, and many people have it was in the game because there's a lot of majors that go on there. You got your Florida opens, your area sixes are usually at this facility. Um, they, I remember shooting at a uh, Florida open and I think they crank off first shots at like eight in the morning. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So there, everybody you'll hear in the squad, <laughs> you hear in the squad that if you start on a certain side, which they had two sides of bays, the left side, the sun will start to slowly creep up over the bay. Yep. And you, there's a lot of visual problems. You hear people complaining about it. Oh, that stage at eight, it, it, the sun was in my eyes. I couldn't, I missed it. Had a couple mics over here. I missed the target because I couldn't see it. Yada, yada. And this was something you always hear at this match. It's just known. It's like you, you're going there. You're going to expect this to possibly happen. And this would have actually helped a ton. It, and he, it, it's a big deal. It is a big deal because one stage, one miss on a target costs you they, contention. They, they will help, but I have not invented the welding glasses for frost proof yet. So, I mean, it actually takes a, that's, that's an ultra bright light coming over that burn first thing in the morning. The UV is not that high in the morning. So the lenses aren't turning as much. So there's a lot of other issues we have with the left side of that lens that we also experienced at high cap nationals in Utah this year as well. So I have to work on something like that. Maybe the new BJ Norris signature series will help a little bit more of that. So we'll see. I'll be, I'll be actually doing some research with some actual lenses I'm bringing up there for that this year. There we go. It is it everybody's gonna have to go to that even if you buy just a pair for that that arena you know what i mean there yeah, we go no, they're, they're not only useful there um it was the where was it oh the noveski carbine series at vir our first stage of the morning it was there was fog and there was sun and there was it was just i was literally pointing in the general direction and praying on, on that <laughs> wow. stage it was it was that bad um well, I just I just got back from the IDPA Worlds last week, and it rained three of the five days there. And one huge advantage of um, Hunter's HD Gold is in the rain and cloudy and foggy situations. And we actually we sold a lot and had uh, I think I had at one point twenty seven demos that were out when it was raining so hard during that match. So I really wish I had these when I shot uh, at Rock Castle the LRSE like a year and a half ago and it was like rainy and towards the end of the day you know we shoot steel at distance and when everybody's hit it then it's not white anymore it's like completely grayed out and it was raining and it was foggy and the targets were grayed out and they're in this field and you had to find the targets and it was like ugh, it was a to me, it was tough conditions. I was still also very, very new to PRS, so trying to find targets was a challenge for me anyway. But that mm -hmm. oh, it was bad. I would have loved to have seen what these would do in those conditions. Yeah, Jen, I so the PRS isn't big on actually 
having eye protection during the match. Is that an optional thing or what, what's the story with, with, with that? And do you bring these anyway or what? Um, I will take these uh, with me. Yes. To the uh, next match. I have had uh, my Oakley sunglasses that I wear a lot of times unless it's overcast. And then I ended up with putting my glasses up on my hat. Yes, I know that's bad. Um, but in PRS, a lot of people do not wear eye protection. Um, I, I, know, I know on long range, they have it used a lot because of fogging issues. Mm -hmm. right. So make sure you use the Z clear that came with that. And to keep this short, make okay. sure you, yes, thank you, Z clear. Make sure you let it dry before you buff it off. And if you let it dry, you'll have no fogging. And um, ask some shooters out there like Kelly Brown and other people that have made the mistake of not letting it dry and coming to me saying this stuff doesn't work and have fun with that one. So I, it I don't works. Think, I don't think we got the Z clear with ours. Well, I will get some shipped out tomorrow and i um, You didn't get this little thing in there? In no, the no. Well, oh, well, sorry. Well, you get, you get, use TSM 10 or something. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well yeah. hey, I, I'll get some to you because you'll definitely need some with your Oakleys up there that's that, you know, it blocks awesome. in. So um, that's the biggest reason I talked to. Um, um, Michael Bain about the same thing on some long range stuff he was doing. He says, because everybody's scared of fogging up at that mm -hmm. distance, seeing the target. So um, Jennifer, you're exactly right. Exactly well, right. and a lot of people say, you know, they've got this expensive optic on their rifle and then you're going to put another barrier between it that could distort or. Well, that <laughs> and that's very funny. You brought that up as well. Cause my band, my back banner, the first year I was going out, had Gray Farnsworth on it, and she's a Shirosky rep for the um, Southeast, and she was shooting a um, Shirosky Z8i, and this, there was a lot more to that story than just her shooting that rifle, because that's a $3,800 rifle, and she was still wearing Hunter's HD Gold, and she was one of the first hunters to actually help me test Hunter's HD Gold over three and a half years ago, and she still wears it today, so yeah, that's, that's a, a that's an expensive piece of glass, man. Super clear looking through that optic. So there you go. It says something there. Exactly. And for, for me, like I'm an always glasses wearer. Like, you know, Jen's still a newbie to this whole thing. Um, she'll get used to it after a while. But I always have my glasses on. Like I don't lay in bed at night on my phone without them. I always wear my glasses. But I did also, you know, I had experience with it and I got all sorts of anti-fog stuff. But I had one stage a couple matches ago where I'm shooting and all of a sudden it was so hot out and my glasses fogged. And literally somewhere there's a video of me like mid stage, bolt back, glasses off, bolt back forward. It was mm -hmm. a it was a mess. Well yeah. I'll have two of them shipped out to your address tomorrow, Greg, and you can give one to Jen if you don't mind. Can do. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Talk about the ballistic. You got a lot of these companies that are that are, they push ballistic rated lenses. Uh, what what's the sign? What's the science a little bit behind this? And does HD Gold offer something like that? Yes, what does and, it even mean? Uh, well, the ballistic rated and ANSI rated and military spec rating. There's there's three different. There's I don't even I know I know what two of them mean. Ballistic rating I think is taken off the military side, but military requirements as a quarter inch steel ball at 650 feet per second. That's fast. And most stuff that only protects that on ballistic rating is on that level is um, actual goggles that they, you know, most of the military you see wearing in, in high combat situations. Um, ANSI rating, the ANSI standards that we got approved for 2015 says a quarter inch steel ball at 150 feet per second will not penetrate the lens. That's been independently tested that's done. I can put that exact same lens with ANSI markings up on the top left corner of the lens in a safety frame. Now you're looking at yours right now, um, Greg. If I can't put an ANSI rated marked lens on a non-safety frame. Now uh, it has it has the same properties. It's got the same thickness, but you I just uh, you can't put that lens with ANSI markings in a non OSHA approved Z87 plus one or plus two for prescriptions rated frame. So that's gotcha. the difference. And so that I has can, to do, go ahead. So I can wear these to work because they're, you said they're ANSI 2015 rated because that's what we're required to wear is ANSI 2015. They don't care about the OSHA 
the the z something another right but if they're if they're wanting those markings up there in the top that's the only thing that may hold you back if they check for those markings because if your frame's not safety rated i can't put those markings on there so it's just like the one jen's wearing jen's wearing you know removable lenses on her um that we made for her however that's not a safety frame so she understands that you know hey it's the same properties the same this but without having that safety frame the lens may not act under the same conditions it may come out there's other you know problems that you might can run into so the biggest thing that we talk about when we talk about frames is all of hunter's hd gold frames that we show are actually you know true safety frames z87 plus one for non-prescription and z87 plus two for prescriptions and some of the new frame designs we just came out with like the velocity i'm uh, working on a rimless version for 2020 that everybody's been asking about we're working hard on that and then of course we just came out with the bj norris signature series that is actually a safety frame as well that he picked out boom there we go we got some live and we're going to get dig deeper into these frames Yep, Jeremy Beaver, he says the watching list is a who's who of the shooting world. Uh, he also says East Coast Steel Challenge Championship 2018, he remembers a pro shooter having to change lenses that now wears Hunter's HD Golds all the time. Um, he, he also said that um, he does love every one of us here, but Anthony's the only one he's actually shot with back in 2013. So that's yeah. why... He likes you better at the moment Yeah, <laughs> because if he would have shot with me, he would like me better, but that's just, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> uh, Kelly Jackson Brown says it's great not having to change lenses for cloudy to sunny, even indoor matches. And I will say that these indoor are pretty amazing. They really brighten things up so you can see better. Um, mm -hmm. Jeremy Beaver can't wait for the new BJ Norris signature series. Um, Christopher Dover says, finally found you. What's up, Brian? Hey, what's up, bro, bro? Uh, John Shooting says the spray works great. Um, let's Talking see. about Z-Clear. Mm -hmm. yeah, Kelly Jackson Brown says Z-Clear works great if you read the instructions. Uh -huh. Rain. <laughs> that's, yeah. the, that, that's the hard part. That's the hard part. Is Imagine reading that. Instructions. <laughs> says that rain rolls off. Fogging from humidity is not an issue. Um, Gabriel Sanchez has a question, wants to know, um, have they been shown to help with migraines by any chance? I had a gentleman just this weekend at IDPA Worlds by the name of um, uh, Paul Jones. And he was, running, he was running stats at the IDP World Championship. And he tried a pair and he told me that he had always had headaches around the middle of the day. And he had been wearing, he wore them for um, actually all, he wore them for every day of the match. And he said his headaches went away. So I have had other people tell me that they have helped with that, but I just got some real live proof last week from Mr. Jones up in Pennsylvania. And um, him and his daughter Genevieve were very helpful at the, um, helping promote Hunter's HD Go for me last week. But um, he said his headaches went away. He drove with them. Um, had no problems at all. And he says the first time in many years that he didn't have the headaches. So that's some, that's, that's some feedback that happened as of just last week. Awesome. Uh, go, Ride, Ride Thomas wants to know how can he get a pair to try for PRS and he's uh -huh. going to be at a shoot in November. He would love to try them at. Email me at info at huntershdgold.com and we will talk tomorrow. Yeah. Mention okay. the shooter's mindset. You might get a little, extra thing of z clear or something we'll we'll throw greg's exactly. in there yeah definitely mention that please because and greg, greg merrill one, so greg merrill wants to know if you have a bifocal option because he shoots uspsa and wants the magnification on top and greg i will tell you these are progressive lenses right here so yes they do we do it and that's a good subject to bring on we make all we can make hunters hd gold in single vision we have some shooters that shoot mono vision, which is a, a prescription here and a different prescription here if your mind allows that to happen. We do make them in bifocals. We actually make them in trifocals. I've actually had somebody, we put the bifocal up, bifocal up on top and I actually found out about four months ago about a lens called the Duo, which means you have a bifocal on top and a bifocal on bottom. So yes, any design you have, if we can't make it, I don't think it can be made because like I said, all we've done is make lenses on a daily basis for the past 42 years. The staff that I have back at the office, uh, Marcus, Paula and Chris are just amazing 
And I would not be where I am today without being able to travel without those people back in the lab every day, making sure they do the best for the customers when I'm not there. So a little shout out to them at, at the lab. There we go. Let, let's hit some frames here. Like I said, I went through the website. Wasn't a huge fan at first. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we found with Jen and Greg specifically, they like this certain, they have their frames. They like it fits their head. Mm. That's what worked for them. So yeah, this is we, my fourth pair of, of these glasses that I have. I got one set in each truck. I got a set at the house as a backup and the HD gold. Yeah. So Share. if you, if you have another company's frame, you can most likely, and it's not, I can't 100% guarantee, but you can probably get the lenses of HD golds put in there. We are doing lots of testing right now with custom lenses for 2020. Um, there's a lot of things that have to happen through testing to make sure everything's going to hold like they're supposed to. Um, for an example, I've had shooters at, at USPSA, um, high cap nationals that were the um, aim cam which is a brand new lens that has the camera up here, camera here, camera there, six to, I don't know, all these, but aim cam is a great brand of camera that's out. We're actually testing lenses for the aim cam right now. So if that happens, like it's going as planned right now, we've had great tests with that. And um, the biggest thing to do when you have a frame that you're concerned about or want to know if I can do it is simply um, email me at info at huntershdgold.com and then send me a picture of the frame and we can we can make some things happen because I'm going to have the individual conversation with you just like I did you, um, Jennifer, about, you know, it, it's not a safety frame, but it's the same property of lenses. So you have to understand when, when, when I started this and, and, and our goal every day we're at business is eye health. Um, your eye health, your eye safety is number one in what we're trying to do. So the safety frames, you know, are, are crucial to that. You know, Kelly just had an accident. She posted about, you know, other day on Facebook where she posted pictures where she got hit with a, um, one of her scuts coming off her, her pistol and um, the class has held up great. Would, the, would they have held up just as great in a non-safety frame? I don't know. I don't want to ask. I don't want to find out, <laughs> but I want to make sure that it's about safety and being everything like we are on the safety line, I'm working with manufacturers of frame lines right now as we speak up in New York where we get our frames from and we're actually designing new frames, you know, for 2020 and, and, and to get more on the sporty side because, you know, I hear, I hear you, Anthony, I hear it all the time. And my wife, when I first came out with these, she, you know, Sherry said, I hate the frames. I said, well, you're the one that wanted, <laughs> you know, liability to go down using safety frames and she says we got to find something better and we have and with the velocity that just came out um in january for uspsa shooters it's really changed the game and the frame the frame companies are now starting to listen to me and that's a um powerful thing that i didn't think was going to happen two years ago so I'm, really, I'm excited about where hunters hd gold is at i'm excited where it's going in the future and um sit tight have fun and when the frames come out there just be ready to um invest in another pair or figure out something to do for your budget next because we're not going to stop listening to you the shooter and we're not going to stop designing things around what you want for whatever discipline shooting that you have so i hope that helps yeah well, these, are the one, th these are the ones that i went with quick, quickly john uh, that i picked out here i'm not sure brian you remember what these what the model of these, what these that's called here? the gauge that's the gauge okay. so yeah. to me these are awesome I, i'm digging them but if you're one of those people that maybe want to you know you have a frame you can contact brian or you can wait we got some more coming out here and you got the the bj norris frames what are, what are those about what what's the story and can we get them right now yes you can get them now through shortroundsupply.com for um non-prescription he's the only one that's uh, using that when i when i went to bj norris about it was actually a year ago at idpa in um nationals in 2018 he came to me we started talking and he loved the lens and he told me, he goes, well, I've been using a gray base photochromic lens for, you know, 15 plus years. I really like the gray base. I'm like, okay. So I made him a gray base and I was, I made some people down in Florida, the same thing where they have a lot of sun year round because 
Um, Hunter's HD Gold is a brown-based photochromic. It allows for better contrast. It allows for a lot of things. We tested it when I was out at the hunting camp. I tried to use gray, but I didn't get the same contrast at the 250, 300 yard mark we're talking about earlier. So you do give up some of your contrast, but it, it, it seems like it does get about, you know, 15 to 20% darker than the brown um, base. So the gray base is the only difference. The in indoors, or in low light situations, you will not be able to tell the difference in the lens. It, it's all the same dye, it's the same medical dye, it's all the same properties. It's just um, after BJ Norris won the um, World Speed Shooting Championship this year in Talladega, he contacted me and said he's getting ready to run his own line of BJ Norris Signature Series. And he goes, he asked if I'd like to be involved with um, um, Hunter's HD Gold. And I said, um, of course, why not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's kind of how that got started. I'm, I'm really glad to have um, BJ Norris on the team and short round supply being able to offer that directly through them. And if they want the prescription, the prescriptions still have to go through the website on huntershdgold.com. All prescription orders and all custom orders will have to go through the website. Ooh, that sounds awesome. I'll say about the frames, like I'm probably the pickiest person when it comes to glasses. Like nope, I almost I cried when I had to, I almost cried when I had to get glasses because I, these are children's Oakleys. They're not adult size Oakleys. Like everybody's like, well, just whatever. So like I've been at SHOT Show and I've gone to all the different eyeglass places and I'm like, well, I have a really narrow face. Oh, we have a frame for you. And I put it on and I still look like a bug. And I feel like I have glasses out to here and I don't like it. Um, I just, I can't stand it. This is the only, I've had these glasses for these frames for three or four years maybe longer than that and I have another one just like it and it's the only glasses that I really like the way they fit my face and so I've tried all these other glasses and I always go back to these so when I found out that you could fit to these frames I was like super excited because that's the first time anybody's ever for a shooting glasses been able to use these frames uh, because there aren't any that are small enough other than we, children's Oakley's. We can, thank, we can thank my lab manager, Marcus Parker, um, for finding the technology to be able to um, help the lab invest another 90 something thousand dollars on a piece of equipment to be able to do this for everybody. So he's um, he's the magic behind the scenes. He's the one that tells me what I can and can't do besides Sherry. So it's one of those mm -hmm. things when, he, when we start looking for technology of how to take Hunter's HD Gold to the next level and reinvest in um, our company itself, it makes a big difference to have the right people in the right place. Dang, we got a lot of live here pouring in. Uh, Jen, Greg, if you have, if you have any. Greg, you got them. Just. Well, just, Mike Foley says I used the caliber in 2018, <laughs> the velocity in 2019, and I'm running a custom pair now. I have shot a personal best in every steel challenge match since I started wearing Hunter's HD Gold. I see perforations on paper targets at greater distances and steel targets look like a full moon against a dark sky. Thank you, Mike. Yep. We have Eric Jensen, who's actually, um, I think you were watching the show when I was talking about how there's that one guy that could see alphas from behind this or any hits on the target from behind the starting line. Yes, and sir. I was like, man, I, I really need some of these. Um, Eric just said Hunter's HD Gold saved his eye about five weeks ago from a hose blowing off of his tanker. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. He, Eric, Eric's been with me. He's one of the first shooters that were using Hunter's HD Gold over, you know, right at two years ago. And then Eric's very, got a special place where he's gone through some things where um, not everybody should have to go through. And I'm really, mm -hmm. really proud to be able to call Eric a friend. So thank you, Eric. Yeah, Eric, Eric's a really good guy. I, uh, I need to get back out and start shooting some more USPSA to go shoot with them and talk smack. I mean, um, yeah, I think last Eric, I think last time I was talking to you, you were telling me about the tire falling off of your truck. Um, you probably need to have a word with the people that work on it. Just, just saying, <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Vinny said, Hey, Brian. Oh, nice. Um, Jake said when he switched to Hunter's HD Gold, he said his personal best in Steel Challenge and some division wins in USPSA. Nice. Thank you, Jake. Look forward to seeing you at Low Cap Nationals, brother. Uh, Greg said that he sold because you're listening to those of us that shoot. 
Thank you. And when I do demo days, it's very important. And I tell everybody this, just because you do demo days doesn't mean I want to hear everything that's good about them. I've got to know what you don't like about them as well. It's so important because I take that feedback and it's not something that I can change immediately. But just like Greg said, um, I do listen and um, we will get something right for you at some point. So just don't give up on me yet. Just keep to keep watching. Stay with us on social media and the website. And a lot of good things to happen in, in 2020. Well, and Vinny says, so the exact opposite of what my issue was, I have a little face here. He said he's still looking for that frame that will be for the larger head and face. Yeah. <laughs> I would recommend the, um, um, what are these, the Oakley fuel cells. Um, awesome glasses. I got a big fat dome up here. Um, I know I look absolutely beautiful here on camera, but in real life, I've got a big fat head. Um, get you a set of these, send them off. I actually bought these frames off of eBay for $35 before I sent them to uh, Hunter's HD Gold to get them made. There you go. There's an option for you. Um, any uh, dealer programs here, Brian? Obviously, uh, you know, people know I work at a an indoor shooting range. We do carry some eyewear line. Is there some, can they contact you to get, get the stuff in the store? They can. With the website we've talked about, I just, I really want to make sure, you know, the dealers have to understand that I'm working hard every day to build this brand, but if they put them in their shop and they don't talk about them and they don't let people, you know, try the lens, they're going to sit there and collect dust because that's one reason I'm trying to get out and visit so many shows and, and really educate people on lenses because when you walk into a place and you're, you're looking at on the shelf and like, how much are those? Well, they're 300 or $369, where we got them priced at up to MSRP. And everybody goes, oh, uh, okay. So it takes a lot of education. And I'll, I'll, I'll give that to you if you want to become an authorized retailer. I mean, I work with people daily and have phone calls that come in all the time with another question from a customer. But you've really got to make sure that you're wanting to sell um, a, an accessory because it's not exciting like a gun is, but you can make more money selling Hunter's HD Gold than you can a lot of guns that are out there. A lot more profit in there for you. Yeah, I agree. There's not, I think a, a lot of people who don't know, I know a lot of the viewers know this, but there's not a lot of markup in firearms no. selling those. It's either you're selling them by the hundred, you know, you got to have a large inventory of you pushing them, moving them, moving them, you know, right. pushing them like that. Other than but, that, if you're moving a couple guns a day, you ain't and, and, and that. that and that's the biggest reason I'm not looking to do you know a booth or something in shot so to pull up a bunch, pull up a bunch of retailers right now until about 2023 2024 because my long term goal is to build this brand enough and by the time I end up going to shots show they're gonna look and go there's that son of a gun I need to go see everybody's been talking about for the two years you know him not having them because I'm going like I said I'm only going to support the independent you know, gun shop. I'm not going to be in the big box retailers. You're not going to see me at any of the places that's big box. You're not going to see me on Amazon. You're only going to see me in independence because independence is what, in my opinion, is the heart of the, um, con the, the, the United States economy. And without the independence, there would not be, you know, choices and really, and really people that are training and educating people behind the scenes. Oh, there we go. Greg, you had a question lined up or any live? Yeah, so we, we kind of went over most of this, so I'm going to kind of try and reword this question. Please do. Um, but can you go into kind of some of the things that you could do while making lenses to help shooters? Um, I know that there's a lot of people um, that talk about how they have their, their custom, you know, I got my bifocal part over here on this lens so uh, that I can okay. see the front sight. Right. I know, I think we're kind of, Jen doesn't know this yet, but she's going to kind of help you a little bit with the bifocal part yes. um, for shooting long range and being, able, you know, because the up close thing you see with a, on a bolt gun is going to be your turrets and stuff like that. So maybe. Right. For, I, I, I can help there. I am just, just to re make a point of this. I'm not an optometrist. I'm not anything to do. I'm a, I'm a marketing guy in the optical industry that created a lens that went nuts but the best thing to do is I always tell people all the time, Hunter's HD Gold RX is only as good as your prescription. So you've got to have the conversation with your doctor. And if your doctor is not helping you with focal points or not helping you with um, some, you know, for here in Alabama, we service, you know, the independent ophthalmologist, not Thomas. I had, I had to call four doctors before I found the doctor where I could actually bring my gun 
into the optometrist and get that focal point right where I wanted it at. So you have to have the conversation with your doctor first. That's where everything starts because you're going to have to get a prescription based on, you know, based on so many things that we can get into later, just shoot me an email. But the biggest thing is, is based on what you're used to shooting with and what you're wanting to shoot with is it can be a major, you know, gap. So you've got to have that conversation with your doctor to get the prescription right to begin with. And that can be done. And they are doctors in California. There's doctors in New York that, you know, can make this happen. You know, even, you know, I, I said those two extreme states because nobody thinks so. No, that can't happen. I've met people who are, there's gun friendly doctors all over the place. There's a gentleman out in Arizona that I've met at a couple of USPSA matches. I know y'all have seen him shoot as well in USPSA. He's the, you know, the optometrist for the USPSA is this title, but um, he's, in, he's in, um, out in Arizona. There's doctors out there that know the shooting sports, know how to set up the optics. And then when I get the prescription, then I can only make it even better. Mm. So I hope that helps, Greg, what you're trying to talk about. Yeah, that, that definitely did. Cause I know that there's, there's lots of people that, you know, know, like this is where my problem is. Right. Um, so the, the key there is go and talk to your optometrist and say, you know, Hey, obviously it's awesome if you have an optometrist that happens to be shooting too. Right. But be able to say, Hey, I'm holding something right here and I right. need to see this help. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. That, and, and, and by doing that, having somebody measure that distance, the doctor just needs to know that distance. If you can't take your gun in there, this is the distance it needs to be. So, you know, work with a friend to measure these distances and work that out before you go see your doctor if you don't want to change doctors. They might yeah. frown upon me walking in with this. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a beautiful yeah. rifle. You, you, you would be surprised. I've heard lots of great <laughs> stories out there where they just wait after hours. You do it after hours. You come in first thing in the morning. And um, I'm sure they're going to ask you to carry a rifle bag, though, Jennifer. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> yeah, if you're, in, if you're in the South Florida area, I know a guy that does this for a living. And he, you, you can bring guns in his, in his shop. You know what I mean? He, he's in the, he shoots IDP, well, he shoots USPSA. You're, you're giving me a great idea to start compiling a list of doctors that are, that are friendly and maybe have a way to search that through the Hunters HD Gold website one day. So thank you for yeah. that. That yeah. is a very good that idea because I would support it. I'm, I'm brainstorming right now because then we find doctors to support who support the shooting sports. So yep. yeah, his name is Damian Lou, and I'll get that over to you. He, he shoots, you know, so I know, I know that's what he does. Another 2020 I, plan. Yeah, I will <laughs> see what I can find around. And you have so many followers on, on, on Facebook. Um, I think we could, you know, in between you and us, if we both put out like, hey guys, let us, you know, if your eye doctor will let you bring your gun into their office, let us know. And That's we can right. do like an interactive map thing or something. That's exactly right. Click on this state. And here's your list of doctors. I'm on it. I am on it. Yeah, that's a good, that's a, that's a great idea. Genius. All right. Yeah. Any last one here for me? And then we can wrap this one up. If we have any good live, we can get those out. Any upcoming events, Brian? Any goals? Any uh, any new products coming out? Oh, Lord, yeah. Upcoming events. Like I said, I'm getting ready to leave this Saturday to go to um, Low Cap Nationals. Then I'm going to be heading over to Texas for the Area 59 Championship. And then I'm headed back to Arkansas. They're going to have a makeup match for their um, Rimfire match that was canceled based on the floods at Old Fort. And then I'm headed back to, I think the last – the um, last three matches I have are all in Florida. I'll be at the Florida State Steel Challenge Championship. Then I go to the Florida Invitational Pistol Championship, and I finish up my season this year at the Area 6 Multi-Gun Championship. So lots yeah. of matches left. We got to get you to a PRS match. Uh, well, I, we, we, yes, um, uh, that's on my. <laughs> it's right here. It's it's there. I'm taking notes. You get me in touch with people who to sponsor these events with, and I I'm can in. do that. I, I am, definitely I am, know who to I am get in, you with for that. I am in branding mode, and we sponsored over 124 matches so far this year. I have been to 35 matches so far with six more to go. So I'm not going to quit in 2020. We're going to turn it on again in my first match in 2020. I'm going back to um, Florida for the um, bull um, 
pistol championship. So, you know, it's, 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 it's not going to stop. We're building a brand. We're having a lot of fun. And my goals to answer that question is to just keep focused, keep having fun and talking about the second amendment in 2020. Awesome. It's going to be very important. And so kind of on that note, um, I'm actually in the process of uh, writing an email to Shannon and Julie Kay um, with you copied on it. So Thanks. they run they uh, they run the Precision Rifle Series. A lot of people say Shannon does. It's really Julie. Um, and so maybe we can get you out at several matches or at least some matches next year. If you're going to do one PRS match, come to the Gap Grind. Give me out. dates because my calendar is already starting to get dates for 2020. And um, as long as it doesn't interfere – with a major match with USPSA or Steel Challenge based on my commitment with them being the official eyewear of USPSA and Steel Challenge, I would love to be there. I'm excited about that. Awesome. I'll, I'll get this sent out th this evening. Um, so hopefully, um, for those of you PRS shooters watching, hopefully we'll have uh, H Hunter's HD Gold out at several of them. Yep. And I'll be ready for the critiques of why you don't like it, because I, I got to figure out if there's something special we got to do for um, Precision Rifle, then it's something we got to do. We got to make it work. So I, I need I need all the feedback possible. Yep, I'm really excited to kind of try these out and give you the feedback I got. You know, I'm a little bit simple. I'm I'm just blind far away. Um, and I've been, like I said, I've been running the same prescription for 10 years, so I'm used to it. Lucky you. But I, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to get up there. I might need bifocals, but I don't think I'm quite that old yet. No, we'll get there. And, and something earlier that Kay talked about on um, the pre-questions before the match. Yes, it's always important to match your shirt with your glasses. And that's one of those things when I go to matches, that's a big joke that me and Kay have going on now. So, And so my shoes match, my glasses, my shirt, we're all good to go. So it's all golden. So I'll have to, when I wear my phone scope jersey, I'll be uh, perfectly matched. There you go. We mm -hmm. have a ton more live over here. Um, so guys, if you asked live and we missed you, we're, we're really sorry. Um, but there's a lot of you out there. Um, John shooting said, thank you, Brian. And thank you. Shooters mindset. Very um, welcome. Sheila said, Brian, you're amazing. Sheila McKinney. Oh, wow. Thanks. Yes. Sheila McKinney. Um, let's see. Uh, Kelly Perez said, Gordon, I can't wait to show off ours at SASP matches. Um, Greg Merrill says he's going to be placing an order. Nice. Hey. Mention the shooter's mindset. Save that 25 bucks. Yes. Uh, Dave Duran said uh, Dr. Wilson in Fayetteville, Georgia. I think we're going to add him to our global nice. optometrist position. We have, it's time to start the movement. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I like that. That's going to be very helpful. What else yeah. you got, Greg? Let's see. Uh, Russell said, I tried my first all HD Gold at Rimfire Challenge, the Old Fort Gun, Gun Club, and he sold. Thank you. All righty. Um, Good. I, I, think, I think that's it. I think we got it. Yeah, that hit most of them. Vinny just right. said his favorite saying is they change so you don't have to. That's, hey. so that's, that's, that's a good one to end with, right? <laughs> nice. There we go. All right, man. This was this was a great show. Appreciate everybody, man, coming in. The views were were great. The comments. I'm getting. I, I haven't been able to answer. There's a lot of people PMing and DMing and commenting and watching on the this uh, watch party thing that I, I don't quite get what it is, but we shared it on my personal Facebook page. <laughs> Joining the watch party on my uh, side of the thing. So we I'll get to those comments after after we close this one down. This will be available on YouTube. Remember, guys. Maybe if you didn't, we want to rewatch it. You can also rewatch it, obviously, directly from the Shooter's Mindset Facebook page. But if you're over on YouTube, you can always find it on the Shooter's Mindset uh, uh, YouTube channel. And we'll do that. We'll wind this one here down to shout outs. Uh, Jen, you usually start us off. What do we have? Yep. Shout out to McMillan Stocks for that beautiful stock back there, the A10. Again, if you see me at a match and you want to get behind it and feel what the A10 feels like, come find me. I'll be glad to let you get behind it. Night Force Optics for a great uh, glass on top of the rifle. GSL Suppressors for keeping me civilized. Uh, Warren Scope Mounts and Bipods. Uh, Under Industries for great jerseys. Remember, you can get 10% off. Um, Shooters of Augusta and Sharpshooters of Augusta, Spartan Precision Rifles for cutting these bad boys to make them 
shoot wonderfully. We bad, get we bad solid. Phone scope to be able to watch what you got going on. HD gold for these beautiful glasses. Yeah. Um, and shout out to indoor dry fire training system. Um, that is what's behind me. If you have questions about it, you can message me, but it helps me to dry fire indoors at 12 feet with my scope. So if you're interested in that, hit me up and I'll tell you all about it. Boom, Greg, what do you got? I have shooters and sharpshooters shooters of Augusta. Um, our awesome local ranges here. They got indoor, outdoor, um, a great place to wear your Hunter's HD gold out to. Um, Overwatch Defense for a super awesome Cerakote job on whatever you got. Um, they got a whole bunch of other stuff over there as well. Um, but check them out. PDC Custom, if you want the most amazing rifle chassis ever, even available in lime green, which makes it even better. Uh, NDZ Performance, the ultimate place to go build your Gucci Glock or all sorts of other cool things. Um, talked with the guys over there a couple days ago. They got all sorts of cool new stuff coming out soon. Um, maybe even moving a little bit into the Precision Rifle Series world. Uh, phone Scope, um, just a whole lot of fun and a great training tool. Shooter's World Propellant um, for really consistent rifle powder. And of course, Hunter's HD Gold if you actually want to see the shit you're shooting at. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I mean, they change because you don't, so you don't have to. <laughs> we need it. Yeah, there, there you. We need, I, you know, it, it's funny how you how you tied the word shit in there. The folks over at Tactical Shit, all right, they usually they sponsored they they sponsored the show for a very long time. I still keep the banner up for for them, but they'll mix up. They'll make a, their own frame and they'll co they'll tie in something with shit in there, and it'll sell like wildfire. I don't know. It just when those guys get a hold of something uh it, it goes so maybe that's a avenue of contact or point of contact we can probably get you in contact with and they'll make something up it'll be awesome uh sh brian shout outs what do you got yeah real quick just to thank the the founders that helped me get started in the shooting sports larry joe steely jr trent mitzvah and steve foster very special place in my heart um one bit two big shout outs to mike foley and jake martins with uspsa for believing in me and believing in the brand that I was putting together and saw that I needed to be a part of something I didn't know I needed to be a part of. And I don't think I'd be anywhere without those two guys' leadership and support and taping me going to 2020. And new shout outs for 2020. Um, my, my new friend, Bill Duda, um, Go Fast, Don't Suck. Got a lot of plans with him next year. And of course, my, my buddy down in Miami, Luigi Lee. So there we go, Luigi. All right. Um, shout out to Mayan. If you're watching on the YouTube side of things, definitely hit this yellow subscribe button underneath the video. If you're watching live on the Shooter's Mindset Facebook page, be sure to like our page, man. We, we That always helps. Um, uh, folks over at Tandem Cross, we talked a lot about uh, Steel Challenge, another big supporter of that game. Uh, the folks over at Tandem Cross, or if you're in the rimfire market, you need to trick out your gun, take a look at Tandem Cross. They got it all over there. If you want to email me, theshootersmindset at gmail.com is a good way to do that. Definitely thanks to Brian for spending two hours of his time here for episode 275. We appreciate that. He said he has one more shout out. And what's that one shout out? Then we'll wrap it up. We got I want to thank my beautiful wife, Sherry, for believing in me and allowing me to do this every day and being here to support me every time I come back home. There we go. We almost forgot about that, man. That would have been huge. That, <laughs> that, that was uh, the most important. Some people just say, hey, thanks to my wife for putting up with uh, me traveling all the time and all that stuff with these yeah. matches. Yeah, she's been, been she's been wonderful, and it's, it's, a, it's a great way to come home every time I come home. There we go. And that'll do it for episode 275 of Other Shooters Mindset. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight, and we'll catch you next week on the next one. <laughs>